Welcome to the Quick Start tutorial for Settle 3D version 4. In this tutorial, we will introduce many of the basic functions of Settle 3D, including settlement analysis and results visualization. To begin, if you have not already done so, run Settle 3D. A new document will open with the program. Notice that there are two views in the window, the plan view, where loads, geometries, and queries can be defined, and the 3D view, where results are visualized in three dimensions. We will begin by modifying the project settings. Open the project settings dialog from the toolbar and ensure the general tab is selected. The project settings dialog allows you to enter project information, set the unit system, and specify other general analysis parameters. Set the stress units to metric, stress as kilopascals, and settlement units to millimeters. Click on the Project Summary tab and enter Quick Start Tutorial as the project title. Then click OK to close the dialog. We will now begin constructing our model by adding a load. From the toolbar, select the circular load icon. In the Define Load dialog, change the circle radius to 7 meters. Load properties can be defined for the load type, load magnitude, and depth. Define flexible or rigid loads in horizontal or vertical directions. For this tutorial, we will use the default values. Click OK to close the dialog. In order to place the load, enter the coordinates 5, 5 into the prompt line at the bottom right of your screen, or click the intended location in the plan view. To modify the soil properties, select the Define Soil Properties icon from the toolbar. Change the name of the soil to Medium Clay. Select the Immediate Settlement checkbox to enable input and computation of instantaneous settlement before consolidation starts. We will keep the default values for all parameters. Select the Primary Consolidation tab to determine the settlement that occurs as pore pressure dissipates and the soil compacts over time. Change the material type to Linear. We will once again use the default parameter values. Most of the material input parameters are accompanied by a pick icon, which allows you to choose from a variety of published test results for a variety of soil types. We are only defining one material model. Click OK to close the dialog. For more detailed information on input parameters, see Settle 3D Help, linked below. To define the thickness and sequence of the soil layers, select the Define Soil Layers icon from the toolbar. We only have one layer of material, but we will change the thickness to 25 meters. Click OK to close the dialog. In order to compute stresses and displacements, we will need to generate a field point grid. Select the Auto Field Point Grid icon and select OK to accept the default values. Stress and settlement are automatically computed throughout the three-dimensional volume, and total settlement contours will be shown. Under the contour legend in the sidebar, you can see that the maximum settlement is 33.2 millimeters. Visualize this displacement using the deformed contours checkbox. Rotate the model to view results by clicking and dragging in the 3D view. Use the depth controller to visualize contours at different depths. In the toolbar at the top of the screen, you can change the data type being plotted. To obtain results at specific locations, you can add query points or query lines. These allow you to graphically plot data versus depth or horizontal distance at specific locations in the model. To add a query point, select the Add Query Point icon. Leave the default setting of Automatic and select OK. To specify query location, click the mouse at the desired location or manually enter coordinates 5, 5 and press Enter. The query results will appear in the 3D view. To add a query line, select the Add Query Line icon. Leave the number of horizontal divisions to the default of 20. This time, select Evenly Spaced Divisions and change the number to 25. Select the existing query point to place one point there, then enter the coordinates 5, negative 9 into the prompt line to place the second point. The query line results will appear in the 3D view. We will now plot the query data. Plot query point data by right-clicking on the query point and selecting Graph Query. Change the plot type to Depth versus Data and choose Total Settlement. As expected, the amount of settlement decreases with depth. At the bottom of the soil layer, the settlement is zero because the soil is assumed to be underlain by rigid bedrock. 
Use the Chart Controls sidebar to modify chart components. Close the Chart View tab. Plot query line data by right-clicking on the query line and selecting Graph Query. Select Total Settlement and click OK. You will see a graph showing the total settlement versus horizontal distance along a line at the current depth. Tile the windows so they are side by side. Use the depth controller sidebar to change the depth of the line. Notice, the plotted query data will also change in tandem with the current depth changes. To view a formatted summary of input data and analysis results, select the Info Viewer icon. This information can be exported by right-clicking in the Info Viewer and selecting your preferred option. Drawing tools also allow objects to be added to the plan view, including a soil properties table. First, double-click anywhere in the plan view to maximize it. Select the Soil Properties Table option from the toolbar. Click anywhere in the plan view to add the table. By double-clicking on the table, the table can then be edited, moved, or formatted. Add or remove parameters or change table appearance. This concludes the Quick Start tutorial. Click here for more details or here for more tutorials.